Welcome back guys. So today we're going to be talking all about a baby registry must haves. Huge thank you to Frida Baby for sponsoring today's video. I'm currently pregnant with my second baby. So the products that I'm going to talk about are like tried and true things that I absolutely loved and things that I'm registering for this year that are just things that I wish I would have registered for last year. I'll see you guys. If anything that the past two years of motherhood has taught me is that babies and toddlers, as long as they are fed clean and loved, that's all they need. So everything that I'm sharing with you guys is just items that are going to make mommyhood a little bit easier and a little bit more fun along the way. Um, with all that said, we're gonna go ahead and jump right into the video. I'm actually gonna start off with the Frida Baby products. And these are things that I actually bought individually during my first pregnancy because I didn't know that something like this existed. This is called the Baby Basics Kit. So this is everything that comes inside of the Baby Basics Kit. So I'm gonna go through each of them individually and show you guys what they do. You get the Nose Frida Snot Sucker. So this little contraption, you stick this part in their little nose and then the other side you suck and it really helps them um, get those boogies out and breathe better. But it does come with like a little filter so nothing's going to actually go into your mouth. I remember the first time Sebastian got a cold, he was around three months old and this was such a lifesaver. The next one in here is the gas passer and this one is actually new to me. I did not get this one when I lost pregnancy but I can see how this would definitely be super helpful. So it does have instructions and it shows you exactly what to do. So you have to like rub their tummies to kind of help relieve that gas. And yes, you do insert these into their booty and this is going to help release all that gas. Again, this is something that I had no idea existed and it definitely would have come in handy in my first pregnancy. Next up, we have nail clippers and a nail file. And I love the way that these nail clippers are made. I think it's absolutely genius how they added a little hole to them so that when you're clipping baby's nails, you can actually see them. And I feel like this makes it a lot easier. And the last Last thing that it comes with is the um, skin soother, which is basically a little brush that you can use during bath time. And I actually use something very similar to this when Sebastian got cradle cap, which is kind of like a condition where their scalps get really dry. Something like this really helps to kind of get the dead skin cells off, but it's also really good just to like massage your little heads when they're taking a bath. And yeah, again, I love that they included this in here as well. Definitely a must have in your baby registry. Some of the best advice that my in-laws gave us was to have like a little first aid kit for a baby for the first time that they get sick because it's inevitable. We had a thermometer. We also had some like baby Tylenol. And this product is so cool right here. This again is something that's new to me and this would have been so helpful. So this is the Medifrida AccuDose pacifier and this would have been such a good addition to the first aid kit because it's actually a little pacifier that you can dispense the medicine through or vitamins if your baby has to take vitamins. And it just would have been a lot easier because Sebastian used to spit up his medicine all the time and this would have really helped with that. Like I told you guys, the first time Sebastian got sick was like three months and one of the things that we were super grateful to have was a humidifier. Frida Baby has a three-in-one humidifier diffuser and night light. I like that it has a super simple and sleek design, so it's definitely gonna match the nursery. Um, and it also runs through the night. So you get like 12 hours straight on max, which is awesome, especially if you're using it when one baby is sick, you definitely don't wanna keep going in there and like waking them up, you know? So yeah, if you guys like these Frida Baby products, definitely check them out. I'm gonna have them all linked down below for you guys. This is a baby lounger. You can kind of take it with you throughout the house so baby has a comfy place to kind of lounge in. It's very snug. It's designed to kind of mimic the womb. So it's particularly helpful for newborns to kind of just soothe them and make them feel like they're nice and cozy. So he would take his afternoon naps there. I could be like in the living room, like doing laundry, and he would be in his little dog talk. These were my personal favorite bottles when Sebastian was a baby and he was still nursing. And this is so cool because it comes with um, two of the smaller baby bottles two of the larger eight ounce bottles and also replacement nipples. Honestly, this kit will carry you probably through like a year or two years, however long your child needs a bottle for. We got lucky and this is the only brand of bottles that we bought the first pregnancy and Sebastian loved them. They're kind of shaped to resemble the breast. So they're really great for breastfeeding babies because they're like really squishy. They have like the perfect size for the baby to grip. But I have heard 
um, parents say that their babies were really particular about the bottles. So I would definitely recommend registering for two different type of bottles. So another great bottle that had amazing reviews if you plan on also breastfeeding, even if you don't, I just think these are so cute as well. These are from the brand Ola Baby and they come in a three pack. They have them in this like really pretty light blue color and also light pink color. If you do plan on breastfeeding, I highly, highly recommend getting your breast pump before having your baby, which is something my sister told me to do, but I didn't listen to her and I got my breast pump like a week after I was already home with the baby and oh my gosh when your milk comes in like your breasts feel so swollen and like you need that relief from the breast pump some women like putting their breast pump on their registry others don't but if you want my recommendation um there's two one is the Medela, which is what i used my first pregnancy highly recommend it if you're looking for a medical grade pump i know it's also covered by a lot of insurances so definitely look into that i want the lv pump this time around it is completely hands-free you get two different attachments and you just stick it in your bra and you can pump while you're doing other things. The first pregnancy, I feel like it wasn't that big a deal for me to be pumping all the time. This pregnancy, I cannot imagine myself dedicating that much time to pumping and exclusively breastfeeding and watching after a two-year-old. So the hands-free is definitely gonna be the way that I'm gonna go this time around. I'm sure you guys know this by now, you can't leave the hospital without a car seat. We actually went with the Nuna Pipa Light, our first pregnancy. At the time, it was the lightest car seat on the market. I believe it still is some of the best um, safety ratings on the market. And it was between that and the Duna car seat. The Duna car seat actually converts into a stroller. So you literally take it off the car and the wheels will drop and it converts into a stroller. Figured when we go places, my husband will be in charge of the two-year-old and I'll be in charge of the baby. Not having to actually carry a car seat would be so much helpful because I am gonna be having a C-section this pregnancy just like I did my last one. Totally makes sense for us to just get the Duna car seat, which doubles as a stroller for the first year. Car seat mirror, you guys. For the first year or two years, they're facing the opposite direction so you can't see their faces and it just gives you so much peace of mind. So definitely recommend getting one. Also, I think a baby carrier is a must. I tried out a ton of baby carriers. These are my top two. The first one is a sling carrier. And this one I love for when we're home and he's going through that phase where he just wants to be held 24 seven. It's very soft. It's very straightforward. There's literally just like a metal ring and you loop the fabric through and that's all you gotta do. You can definitely use it to like go run errands and all of that, but there's no back support on it. So it may not be ideal for like all all day baby wearing. The second carrier that I really loved and also my husband loved, this is the one that he would use, is the Lilla Baby. And this one has a little bit of back support, it's more structured, so you're definitely gonna feel a lot more comfortable wearing your baby all day. Um, you can also use it all the way from like newborn stage to baby stage. So that was something that was really important to me in just any carrier is something that could kind of grow with the baby that you didn't have to like replace attachments or like mess with too much because honestly, that's just like, who's got time for that? One of our favorite little like bouncer type of thing was a baby swing. I love the one from Fisher Price, that's what Sebastian used. They now have like newer updated versions that are just basically like aesthetically different, but they do the same exact thing. I've yet to meet a baby that doesn't like the feeling of being suspended in the air and rocked. Um, so it's just like a safe bet. White noise, you guys, so crucial for those first few months. And heck, we still use our white noise to this day and Sebastian is two years old and we've gotten accustomed to it. Like we can't even sleep without the white noise. And my favorite baby product for this is the Hatch Rest. It's also a nightlight. It comes with a ton of different sounds from white noise to like soothing music, chirping birds. There's like a ton of settings, but the only setting that we use is the white noise. You can control it with your phone and you can also control the nightlight with your phone. You can set a timer for it. So if you want to like start baby on a schedule and have that kind of turn on at a certain time with like a certain light and sound and just get them accustomed to that. You can totally do that. It's all connected to your phone through an app. As somebody that is familiar with the blowout accents, I definitely recommend a changing pad. I love the Hatch Baby Grow changing pad. It's a cool design, so it looks cool in the nursery, but it's also very practical. You don't have to worry about washing um, like covers and things like that. You can just wipe it down, disinfect it, but it's also a baby scale. So we loved keeping track of Sebastian's weight when he was um, little. It's also really good if you're breastfeeding and you want to know how much the baby has drank in milk. Another product 
that I definitely recommend for the changing area is a diaper pail, especially once they reach like that three month mark. That's when their poopies get really stinky. And don't say I didn't warn you guys. We really like the Ubi. We liked it so much. We actually got two of them, one for our bedroom and one for his room. I love that you can use any type of trash bag. It doesn't need to be specific for that for that trash pail because that's just one less thing that you have to worry about. They also come in a ton of different colors. It's really compact and it fits into like lots of different little corners and nooks and we love it. Again, we still have both of our diaper pails and we still use them. Of course, a baby crib, bassinet, whatever your choice is. But let me tell you guys from my experience. And so we actually got a little bassinet the first time. It was so cute, so compact. He grew out of it so fast. His crib, he didn't actually even use it until he was almost two years old. He would use it for naps here and there as a baby. I mean, I don't regret getting a crib, but at the same time, it's something that could have waited until like past the year mark. What worked the best? for us and we ended up using all the way through I want to say right before he turned two was this bassinet called the three in one arms reach bassinet so good especially if you are going to breastfeed and you're looking for like a safe way to co-sleep but not really um, because this is a co-sleeper that kind of attaches to your bed it feels like the baby is right there with you but he's in his own safe space Love that feature about it. We used it up until he grew out of it. And then once he gets a little bit bigger, you can actually remove that and it turns into like a playpen, but you can actually buy a mattress for the playpen. So now it's a bed. If you're thinking about co-sleeping and you just want a safe way of doing it, this bassinet is amazing. I highly recommend registering for a play gym or like a play mat. I really love this one from the brand Love Every. It's got a little bit of everything um, for the different stages that they go through. Um, it's got the high contrast for those newborn days. It's got the colors. It's got a little bit of everything for all of baby senses. So this is a really good one. If you're looking for something that kind of comes complete and encompasses a little bit of everything. As far as baby swaddles go, I have two to recommend to you guys. The first one is called the Love to Dream Swaddle Up. This one is really easy to use, really great for the newborn stage. Um, there's not a lot of fussing with it. You literally just put the baby in and you zip it up and it's got like a little area where the little arms can go. And this was just a really big hit with Sebastian. He loved it. As far as like swaddle blankets my favorite ones were from copper and pearl they are the softest most buttery rich material they're stretchy so they're really easy to use i don't feel like i ever mastered the swaddling technique with any other blanket except this one because it was just so easy to use i did try several other brands like i tried the aiden and anai brand and i didn't find those to be very soft um, so I ended up using those as like burp bibs. So I really enjoy the copper and pearl burp cloths as well because they have so many cute patterns. And I also really like the shape of them. They are longer, so they do cover like a huge amount of your shoulder. And we really enjoyed using these. The um, bandana bibs were my favorite. It's not only do they look adorable, but they also are very functional because of the way that they're shaped. They actually catch the spit up. We had some flat ones before, like the, rec the square ones and they just didn't really do much. They're cute, but they didn't actually catch any of the spit up. As far as like baby clothes and all that, I mean, have fun with it. I'm sure you guys will find like really cute stuff to register for, but a must have is definitely just like plain onesies. And um, I got long sleeve because um, the baby's going to be here in the fall in the fall months, so we're going to need warmer clothes. Um, but if you're having a summer baby, then definitely go for like a short sleeve. But the reason I love these is because they have three little snaps at the bottom. So it makes diaper changing so easy. One thing that I learned the first pregnancy is that the zipper onesies, they were really good for like playtime in the daytime. But at night, my baby would scream his head off if I had to unzip everything and take his legs out. So we just learned to use something like this and then we would use a swaddle on top. I would definitely register for a few of these in different sizes. The last baby registry must have. For us personally, we got it for Sebastian. We loved it. We kept it and we're going to be using it for baby number two. And it's the Outlet Sock. Um, it's a little uh, baby monitor that goes on the baby's foot. It monitors their oxygen level, um, their heart rate. And it's just one of those things that just gave me a lot of peace of mind. It alerts you if your baby's oxygen drops below a certain amount or if the heart rate changes for any reason. There was only one night that I didn't use it and it was the night that we came home from the hospital and I did not sleep at all that night. It was literally just like staring at him all night. 
<laughs> and I would check him to see if he was breathing. So my husband put the whole thing together the next day and we used it on night number two. And I was actually able to get some sleep because I just felt like I had a little helper helping me monitor the breathing at night. Wow, I have been sitting here for so long that my house is actually getting dark. I don't know if you guys could tell. But yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you found this video helpful. Give the video a thumbs up if you did. Again, huge thank you to Frida Baby for sponsoring today's video. Don't forget to check out the products. I will have links down below and I will talk to you guys next time. Bye.